Last season, after a win over a Missouri Valley foe in the quarterfinals and over a CAA team in the semifinals, the Bison football team punched their ticket to Frisco, Texas. After a win over South Dakota State last week, NDSU will look to repeat that path on Friday night. Uh, there's going to be a lot of emotion. Uh, obviously, it's still a game for us, a playoff game. You can't think about that's the last game in the Dome for us seniors, but, you know, it's always in the back of our mind. We're thinking about it, and uh, we just want to go over the victory. This year's opponent from the Colonial is James Madison, who sits at 12-1 and on the season, with their lone loss coming against the North Carolina Tar Heels of the ACC. Yeah, they're a really good team, and they've been tested. They play in a good league, and it, you know they're not going to be intimidated coming up here. I think it's going to be, you know, it's going to take a, a solid effort to, to go and get these guys. And you know, we're looking forward to, it and it's going to be a great challenge. But you know, let's play off football. That's what we're all about here, and you know, we welcome right into the dome. In nine of their 13 games, the Dukes have put up over 40 points. The success all starts under center with junior quarterback Brian Shore, the CAA Offensive Player of the Year who has 24 touchdown passes with only five interceptions. There's not a phase where you'd say, well, you know, there's a whether you'd say it's a weakness or just not as good. I know they're leading the FCS in scoring uh, and have a phenomenal offense. Running back Khalid Abdullah made a strong case of his own for Player of the Year honors. The senior ranks first in the FCS in rushing touchdowns and fourth in rushing yards. They're a good team, they're solid. Um, their offensive line does a great job over the holes for their backs, their backs are physical, they run hard. Last week in the playoffs, the Dukes held Sam Houston State, the second best scoring offense in the FCS, to only seven points. 42 points below their average. Their special teams have been dynamite. They've faked punts, they've faked field goals. Uh, they, they've returned kicks for touchdowns, they've blocked punts. Last week, James Madison's special teams put up 14 points by themselves with two punt returns for touchdowns. But that's nothing new for the Dukes, who lead the FCS in punt return TDs with six. They're sound in what they do. Uh, they don't do a ton of things, but I, I'm just really impressed with their athleticism. Uh, and their speed on defense, and those kids really like to strike you. The last time these two schools met was in 2011, when NDSU beat James Madison 26-14 to in the FCS playoffs. The Bison won 21 playoff games since that time. Kickoff is scheduled for this Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time and can be seen on ESPN2. For GoBison.com, I'm Brett Rory.